Well, I was telling a story here recently about my brother Brett and the whole getting hit with a Roman candle, and he ain't the only one. I know y'all out there that have held those before and they backfired on you, but then it was a whole stop, drop, and road thing. And if you were a younger person, and you might not have been heard about that because it may be in the 2000s and the 90s, they weren't hollering about it as much, but in the 1980s, for whatever reason, it was all about stop, drop, and roll. Now, I don't know what was going on if, if maybe more people were catching fire in the 1980s for some reason, but they thought it was a big enough deal that enough people didn't know what to do if they caught fire and enough people were catching fire that they thought, boy, we better tell the public that they did a whole, they rolled out a whole national campaign. Any grade school kid, high school, junior high, children, child, they know what to do if they ever caught fire. But somewhere there had to be a meeting where folks sat around the table and they said, hey, how are we going to get the message out? Maybe somebody said, well, when you catch fire, uh, get it put out and have someone throw a blanket on you. And they said, well, that don't, that don't really have the, a real catchy way to say it. If you catch fire, have someone throw a blanket, then tell them thank you. You know, it didn't work, so they said, well, maybe, what if we just uh, tell them to roll around on the ground? Okay, if you're on fire, roll around on the ground. Don't make a sound. Then they probably thought, well, they can make a sound. You can go ahead and holler if you're hurting. And then some wise folk in the meeting said, hey, what if we tell them to stop, drop, and roll? You're on fire, so you're going to stop, which is like the opposite of what anybody wants to do if they're in pain or they're on fire. You want to go. You want to get away from it. And then they say you drop. Not only do you stop where you're at, you fall all the way to the ground in the most vulnerable position. You just lay down there like a slug, and then you roll, and you're safe. That's what they told us. That was the message. Stop, drop, and roll. I guess they decided there ain't no way to stop the epidemic of people catching fire. We can't do it. All we can do is help them get the fire put out once they on fire. So we're going to stop, drop, and roll. Didn't nobody say, hey, let's just tell them to put the matches away or whatever. And it didn't help when Michael Jackson caught fire in a Pepsi commercial. Then all the naysayers who were like, hey, why do we need to stop, drop, and roll? Who catches fire? So now there's a whole generation of people that know. Hey, you stop, drop, and roll. Don't catch me on fire because it ain't going to matter. I'll stop, drop, and roll, and I'll be safe in five seconds. Is it bad advice? I don't think so. Would it be better to figure out how not to catch fire in the first place? Probably so. But either way, we got fireworks going 4th of July and the rest of the summer and the New Year's Eve probably. So in case you encounter something, you know what to do? Throw a blanket and tell them thank you. Sprint and run and yell a ton, holler and scream in your cutoff jeans. Only one thing gonna help you. Stop, drop, and roll. And if you didn't know, now you know. I'm Tavin Diller. Have a good week. We'll see y'all later. I met you at a tractor pool. You were sassy, I was cool. I knew I would be your man. Foxy.